Hello everyone and welcome to a Music Theory Minute. I'm Floyd Richman and today we're going to talk about seventh chords. As time progressed, composers began to use four note chords or seventh chords for greater richness. Seventh chords are most easily constructed using every other note of a scale as shown below. In root position, the name of the chord is the lowest note. As with triads, if a root position seventh chord begins on a line note, every note is a line note, and the same is true of spaces. There are five types of seventh chords in common use, major seven, abbreviated uppercase M seven, major minor seven, abbreviated uppercase M lowercase M seven, minor seven, abbreviated lowercase M seven, half diminished seven, abbreviated with a degree symbol with a slash through it and the number seven, Arabic numeral seven, and fully diminished seven, abbreviated with a degree symbol and the number seven. In chord one, we have a major seven chord. C to E is a major third. E to G is a minor third. G to B is a major third. So the thirds from bottom up are major, minor, major. The second chord is a major minor seven chord and it's major, minor, minor. The minor seven chord is minor, major, minor. The half diminished seven chord is minor, minor, major. And the fully diminished seven chord is minor, minor, minor. In a major key signature, the major seven, major minor seven, minor seven, and half diminished seven chords occur naturally. Memorize the labels and their patterns on each scale degree below. Note the conventions for displaying the various types of seventh chords using Roman numerals. Note in popular music, the B half diminished seven chord is often notated as a B minor seven flat five. In minor key signatures, these chords are arranged differently, plus the fully diminished seven chord is added. Memorize the labels and their patterns below. Thank you for joining us today for a Music Theory Minute. Be sure to like and subscribe.